Welcome to the Roked Physics Tutorial Lessons. In this tutorial, we learn how to navigate in the app. First, please adjust the performance of the app by changing the graphics settings in the setting menu. Roked Physics was optimized to work with integrated graphics of computers. However, if you feel that the program does not properly perform, it is advised to change the graphics settings to low value. When using Roked Physics, students are able to submit their lab reports via internal services of the app. In order to do that, here we need to type the receiver's email address. Usually, it is a teacher's email or lab assistant's email. After we set up everything, we can go back to the main menu. Main menu of the app consists of six chapters. Each chapter contains pre-installed laboratories related to the chapter. Kinematics, Dynamics and Statics thermodynamics and molecular physics, electric circuits, electricity and magnetism, waves and optics. Let's now consider a simple experiment. We go to kinematics section and start the lab about projectile motion. After lab starts, first thing, we will see, is a lab room with a blackboard and a table in center. On the blackboard, there is short introduction to the lab and its objectives along with the scheme of laboratory equipment that is need to be prepared for the experiment. On the left side of the screen, we can find step-by-step -step instructions, formulas and tables that a user need to fill in in order to submit a report. As a teacher, we can use both internal tables and calculators of the app, or open a separate window for the Excel spreadsheet to gather and analyze the data. Now in order to conduct an experiment we need to set up required tools. The lab equipment can be found on the right side of the screen. Depending on the section that we are at, the app would give us different type of equipment for the experiment. For example, if we were in electrodynamics, then here we should have gotten voltmeter, power source, light bulb etc. To study projectile motion, we need a ballistic pistol. Therefore, we just grab it by pressing the left button of the mouse and bring it to the edge of the table. The app will automatically recognize its place and turns green, it means we can place the pistol there. Now we can adjust the view by pressing the right button of the mouse, so it is more comfortable to work with the pistol. Next step would be to set up a launch angle. Let's set the angle to 45 degrees and then press, play, button or, space, on a keyboard. After a projectile launches and falls to the table, we can pause the simulation by pressing, pause, button or, space, on a keyboard. As we can see there is data appeared on a screen. Here we can see the time of simulation, here we can see the time of flight of the projectile, and here we see the distance traveled by the projectile. This data can be then inserted to the table in the app, or in the Excel spreadsheet or just written down on a paper. Let's gather the data in Excel and see how we can play with it. Just open a new Excel file and create two columns, angle and distance. For the sake of finding an error, we can add another two columns for the distance. Now enter the data obtained from the experiment. Let's redo the simulation by pressing the stop button and space again several times. As we can see now, Roked physics does indeed obeys to the laws of nature. The travel distance varies with every run. This error was incorporated purposefully, so by the end of the lab students would be able to find the error propagation and uncertainty of their measured values. As we enter the measured values to the Excel file, we now can do some data analysis and derive other values like initial velocity and it is components, maximum height of a flight, the work done by the spring and so on. Now go ahead and try it yourself, as the best way of learning is by practicing. That is all for now. In the next video tutorials, we will learn how to conduct a bit complex experiments.